Hi guys! Today I'm giving you my honest opinion on the osmosis makeup, how it works, which one would be um, the best for your skin type, how they work on me, which one I love, which one maybe I could do a pass. So let's jump into it. Um, so I'm going to talk about today. So if you're really curious um, about beauty tips and beauty from the inside out, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'm Madeleine Casey. I'm the owner of Sparkle Lifestyle and Medispa. And it's, it's a medical aesthetic clinic, but we really treat the skin and your concern from the inside out. And we do sell Osmosis Skincare, Osmosis Beauty um, here at Sparkle. And and I get tons of questions about that skincare because it's really different than everything uh, that you would have seen on the market before. I'm personally not a huge makeup user. First, I'll be fully honest. Um, so what I have on today is a full phase of Osmosis skincare. So what I like about that skincare, you can really make everything look natural and for a mineral skincare line it actually offer a lot of pigment a lot of coverage but what i like about it it's actually using ingredient that help your skin versus like typical makeup where um maybe it can block your pores it can cause cause aging um just sometimes not really good ingredient for your skin in general. But since Osmosis is really in a holistic wellness, medical grade skincare line, they really took a particular attention to the quality of their ingredient and thank you so much for that. Um, amazing, amazing. So I'm going to start with the foundation of using the right uh, makeup for your skin. So first you need to make sure that you have a, cl a clean face. So make sure that you wash your face before applying your makeup. Wash your hand, wash your face. Um, Osmosis have beautiful cleanser. If you are more on the uh, dry sensitive, I would go for a lift away. If you're more oily, acne prone, um, a deep clean is a really really good um, cleanser also so that would be my recommendation to start then um, I do my full skincare routine and make sure that you watch other video about my skincare routine I would do that then I finish with my um, my sunscreen and um, I will use my sunscreen as a foundation and personally um, Osmosis have a sunscreen called Protect. Love it, it's a good product, but it's a little bit rich. So if you are acne prone or oily, I don't think I would use that one. So I'll be honest here, that's where I would probably use, I love the Vivier um, Pharma skincare, the Sheer 45, because I am acne prone and it works beautiful on my skin as a primer and it's a zinc oxide at 13% uh, if I remember correctly. So I have that full coverage, perfect to use as a foundation. I'm not a big believer in primer in general because they do have dimeticone, most of them, um, and my skin just doesn't like that ingredient in particular because I'm really, really acne prone. So um, this would be my go-to and also, um, Skin Medica uh, have a good sunscreen um, that's tinted, so you actually have a little bit of coverage from this product. So I would definitely use sunscreen as the foundation of your uh, makeup before using um, a primer or something like that. So Osmosis does have um, a product called a CC Cream this one here and it's a color corrector so if you have a little bit of blemishes or just uneven um, skin tone so you can use this product as a, like as a base also it does have a little bit of dimethicon in it uh, but not too bad I don't I'm not I don't react so it's not too too bad but it doesn't really have that sun protection that I would like you to have from a, a a sunblock but definitely a good option if you're really looking for a light coverage I recommend this product and how to use a CC cream is just to apply a small amount on your skin and you'll have to you'll rub and then you'll see 
that it activated the product and it really offered it offered decent decent coverage. But yeah, it pumped a different color, so that's normal. And I would I like to apply it just with my finger on my entire fade, entire face, and especially for summertime, good product also. But I have tendency to uh, use my sunscreen as a foundation. And then if you're looking for that full coverage, they have an amazing uh, performance wear satin foundation. This is actually mine in the color natural medium. They don't have a whole lot of color range. If you're asking me, um, I found um, it doesn't go too light or too dark. Uh, so it would be really light to medium uh, skin tone. Um, I'm sure down the road they'll you know, adjust that. But I found that it's quite flexible also um, when you apply it. But um, yeah, that's my only ick with osmosis. I found that there's not a whole lot of color range, but really, really good product. I'm hyper sensitive to liquid foundation. I usually apply them on my skin and I'll feel the breakouts happening right away. And I'm actually really pleased with that one. As long as I'm washing my face correctly at nighttime, um, I will not get breakout from this product. And I'm actually wearing it um, as we speak. Um, I don't, I just do one coat. Um, I will never apply two again because I'm sensitive, but a tiny bit goes a long way and that's what I love about this liquid foundation. So to be honest, really like the product. I recommend it if you're looking for a full coverage. It does have um, a zinc oxide in it, but not a whole lot of titanium dioxide. So if you're afraid of a mineral foundation that will give you like a flashback when you take pictures or something, that will not happen with this product. So another big benefit. So this one definitely recommend if you're looking for a good coverage. It breathes well. It doesn't get tacky at all. I have it directly under my eyes. It doesn't crease. It just beautiful um, product here. Okay. Then um, I like to finish my makeup with their press powder. So it's a mineral press powder like this. And I will, this is actually a terracotta. That would be a bronzer. So that's not a like the foundation one, but um, it looked like this, okay. Um, definitely recommend this product. This I'm using every day. It has 24% of zinc oxide. So as my day go by, I will just reapply the product, like the powder on top of my face. So I have that sun protection. So my makeup doesn't move around. Love this product, it's compact love 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 this and um, it just doesn't crease it just finish everything so good it doesn't look cakey um, I'm able to build it to maybe a good medium coverage if I'm just using this powder and if I'm using the CC and this product I can pretty much have like a a good coverage from it and by it by itself also but I mean if you're using the CC plus the liquid plus this, I mean, everything is covered, um, beautiful. And then you can also have it um, as a contour, as a um, uh, contouring, they have bronzer, uh, all in that compact and they all offer that zinc oxide sun protection. So definitely recommend this product, that's for sure. Then um, they have, um, sorry, the concealer, okay? Um, I like to use concealer just to spot, treat whatever blemishes I may have. Like I said, I break out for anything. So I need to be really mindful. So I'm currently not using um, the concealer on my face right now, but I could have, I have a couple blemishes uh, going on. I could have, but I'm not. Um, what I like about it, it comes with, um, almost like a, a primer, but also like a moisturizer that you can apply under your eyes. So it will really hydrate your um, your under eye um, and then it will really help for the creasing. So definitely I recommend this product. Uh, my only thing that I don't like, I find it doesn't, if you're using concealer on a regular basis, um, it will not last long. That's my only thing. Um, there's, it doesn't say how much product, I'm sure I could find the box and tell you how much product 
Oh, this one here is saying I have the box. It comes with this box. Why the quantity is not in it? But yeah, I found this probably half an ounce, I'm assuming, but um, yeah, I recommend it. It's just be mindful that um, if you're using this, first of all, you will not need to use it like a YouTuber, like everywhere. You just need a tiny little bit. It spreads really well, but it does increase. It, it's just really, really good concealer. Then um, I like to, when I, because I'm using the powder every day, that's, that's a must. I will not go out without that pressed powder. Um, it's really, um, I would really suggest using the Mineral Hydration Finishing Mist. It's a, it's a spray, um, like a finishing spray. So I really like it. Um, first, you would just spray it on your face. That's not my bottle. I could not find mine, I'm sorry. Um, I like to spray and it, you know how that pow the powder sometimes just move around and it would go like all on your like neck and shirt and um, applying that finishing spray will really help that and it just helps sticking uh, putting the the makeup in place so i definitely recommend this product if you're i mean i'm always wearing black uh, so i found that's not a big um, struggle but lately i'm using the mask right and my mask get a little bit like the powder from my foundation goes on the mask i don't like that so i definitely recommend this little product then um they have um they have an eyeliner a contour uh, and contour and eyeliners that's where i'm i'm not sure that i love them it really depends on what you're looking for in a highlighter if you're really looking for that shiny poppy look which actually i'm not really into and um, that's kind of the type of highlighter that i like and i don't find that osmosis um give me that shine uh with um their um their highlighter so that's where um I'm not sure I recommend it, but again, it really depends on what you're looking for. Uh, I, I thought I had the, the duo. This is actually the fin the, just the finished powder. It's a translucent finishing powder. It's not the one, but they do have an highlighter. So it's really depend on, but if you're looking at like blinding shine, definitely um, Osmosis doesn't <laughs> offer that. Then I will oops, talk about blushes. Um, they have a nice shades of blushes. They all have that zinc oxide in it. So you do have sun protection when you apply the, the blush. I like them. They're not super pigmented, but they're not not pigmented either. I think for a mineral, um, for a, mi a mineral line, their blushes are really, really good. I would recommend it. Um, I mean, if you're looking for the price, maybe that's where there's not a whole lot of like, I mean, it's zinc oxide, but if you're already protected with your powder on top of it, you know, so it really depends. Um, but blushes are maybe not the foundation of what you should get um, from Osmosis, but definitely they have good um, blushes. Then they have the eyeshadow, uh, which personally I love if you are into natural look. I think for mineral, um, mineral makeup they do have nice pigment i'm not into like that's the most eye makeup you'll ever see on me and um, so obviously i can create this look i know i could could go a little bit more deeper um with they have more like bright color um if you into that but i mean don't expect those like super pigmented uh shadow definitely um not but they do have great and they still have that zinc oxide in it so you do have a high eye protection and that's probably why i love them uh, so much so you know you can you can have like sun protection directly on your eyes um because they're eye safe right but i always apply my my powder all over my face so so that's for those little guy. Then I wanted to talk about their um, lip uh, lip product. So I personally I love them, uh, but I have 
little recommendation. Um, first, they have the, um, the lip balm, which I love. Uh, good ingredient. It's beeswax is the first ingredient. So you know how you put like a lip balm and maybe you put it on and then as soon as you, a uh, couple hours, it's even dry, you need to apply more. Well, this will not happen with this one. So it's definitely part of my skincare routine to apply this lip balm every morning to just keeping my lips hydrated and plumb and um, don't have those dry uh, line in them. So I like this one it's really good then um, personally I actually I don't have zero I don't have anything on my lips it's just not something that I'm I'm a user of uh, but they do have um, probably like the lip glaze is what would be most popular from that line uh, it's like a plumping um, lip gloss it's shiny but it's the ingredient in it that are really really nourishing and good for your skin um, if you apply too much though I found it's a little bit like sticky and tacky but I just do a little bit and it's really good and yeah like it's almost as good as the lip balm to be honest it's just so nourishing the little thing like I wish that their product would have a sun block sun protection in them I thought I brought I brought um something no I didn't oh I brought the um, color color signs I just wanted to show you this one um, I like it because it does have that sun protection in it, which I wish osmosis would have, but it don't. So um, my recommendation, if you're, go, if you're outside and you still want that shine, maybe go for something like Color Science. But they do have a um, beautiful color, um, which I love. Um, yeah, love those products. They're still great. So they have the lip gloss. They have um, the lip glaze and they do have um, lipstick. Oops, I'm sorry. Lipstick like this one. So if you're looking and they stay, they stay really long. So I really like them. They're great. Um, they also have uh, a lot of brushes. I'm really a fan of their brushes actually I'm using on a regular basis the kabuki that's the one that I'm using with my press foundation every day so I always have those two in my purse like always love it and um, another one that I really like um, this one is how I would apply uh, my um, my eyeshadow and then I would just fluff it up with the blending brush um, they have the name on it I think they're really really great if you like the if you like to apply the, the liquid foundation with a brush they're nice weight to it um, I really like their brushes they're they improved it lately and I'm a big big fan so those are the one that I'm actually um, using more often if you want my my reviews I guess um, I like to use uh, the Kabuki the, this one is the medium accent um, the blender this one and the concealer um, actually I like to use it just to bring the eyeshadow in but it's designed to be a concealer um, and this one would be the contour shadow so those are my go-to brushes they do have a really nice one for highlighter um, I use my I apply my highlighter and my contour with my kabuki all the time so those would be my recommended brush from osmosis so what else they have um, something that I found pretty cool is they have a makeup remover uh, it's like a like a jelly and um, I would just put like a q-tip and then if I do it um, like a mistake with my eyeliner it's amazing I could like remove my eyeliner super fast and then you can reapply on top of it so definitely something if you're trying to practice your eyeliner or maybe you have a hard time with a line highliner I uh, definitely recommend um, this product then I'm going to talk about I don't have it okay because that's kind of my personal collection here um, they have a mascara 
nothing really special about it. Still a great mascara, but if personally I would recommend it, not my favorite. And um, yeah, that's kind of the, the, the product that I have in front of me that I'm using, that I like, that I would recommend some. I'm like, mm, not sure. But I hope it really helped you understand, I guess, um, you know, what this, the Osmosis makeup line is. Um, if you have any question, I do offer a consultation, virtual consultation, me and my team does it. So if you're not sure which product uh, would be beneficial, make sure that you um, click below to book yourself a consultation. We also have a Facebook group where you can learn more tips and tricks from beauty from the inside out. And um, I will post right there or somewhere a video that I would recommend. So I do um, have a video about more in depth about the Osmosis skin, the skin product and uh, another um, where I go more in depth about their foundation. So I'll make sure to link this. And if you have any question, please comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. So have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.